and in response to emerging developments which require enhanced rules of practice and procedure for sound legislation, the Senate has amended its standing rules of 2015 and approved a simple majority for the election of presiding officers. It also amended Order 96 to provide for senators to be members of not more than seven committees at a time, while committee membership would consist of not less than seven members and not more than 20 members at most. A correspondent, Simisola Adigu, tells us more in this report. Despite the two-third majority proposed by the Rules and Business Committee in its report, members of the Red Chamber have approved a simple majority for the election of its presiding officers. The Upper Chamber also retained a closed ballot system of voting for the election of the President of the Senate and the Deputy. The amendment of the rules followed the consideration of a motion pursuant to Order 111 of the Senate Standing Rule 2015, which was sponsored by Chairman of the Committee on Rules and Business, Senator Suleiman Sadiq, and the Vice Chairman, who is the Senate's leader, Yahaya Abdullahi. There are a number of issues that still require further amendment in response to the emerging developments that make Nigerian democracy, which require enhanced rules of practice and procedure for a sound legislation to tackle such developments. Senator James Manager threw his weight in support of a two-third majority for the election of officers, while some lawmakers kicked against the adoption of a simple majority. Going by what we have been seeing and what has even happened elsewhere, in the Edo State and some other places. We are talking about the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not a mild matter. It's not a simple matter. We are talking about the first city, the inauguration of the Senate. I think two-thirds is good enough. Two-thirds is good, but in the climb that, and in the way we operate. So if maybe one plus, maybe one third, just decide that, okay, we are not coming because we want to stall this. They will succeed. My amendment is simple majority that is based on at least to total representation across the country. So that we don't have a situation where 10 or 20 people from one section of the country with some state president, that will lead to chaos. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, however, cautioned that an amendment in the direction of a two-third majority could be exploited to stall the inauguration and election of presiding officers. I think the two arguments are clear here. Each one is really convincing, but I think we need to be careful because it's much, much easier for someone or some people to frustrate the inauguration. Lawmakers in the majority who were swayed by the Senate President's observation accordingly voted in support of a simple majority for the election of presiding officers. In his concluding remarks, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, commended the Rules and Business Committee for working hard to propose important amendments to the standing orders. Simisola Jigun, TV360 News.